I was about six years old when my family moved for the first time. We left our first house. It was the only home I'd known at that point. The house we moved into next was in the same town, so we didn't go very far. And it belonged to a family that my family was really close with. We were staying in their house for a few months, and they were staying in Mexico, while my parents tried to find a house that they hoped become our permanent home. When we finally moved into that house, I had to switch schools. And it didn't end up being our permanent home. After about two years, my dad got a job offer in New Jersey, and he took it. Soon, we were packing our things and heading halfway across the country from Michigan to New Jersey. When we finally arrived, my parents, my two younger brothers, my younger sister and I, lived in a cramped two-bedroom apartment for about a month. During that time, my parents found a house for us to move into, but we couldn't move in right away. So my mom, my younger siblings, and I headed back out to the Midwest, to Missouri specifically, to stay with my mom's side of the family for a few weeks. While we were there, I turned 10. And when we finally moved back to New Jersey, I was the new kid. And I'd been the new kid once before, and I noticed that there are three things that are always true. First, it's impossible not to get lost. Trying to buy lunch can be really confusing, and making friends can be pretty difficult. But lucky for me, I'd been the new kid once before, so I knew a thing or two about making friends. But there were a couple differences I noticed from Michigan to New Jersey. First, I had a Midwestern accent, so I said things a little bit differently than everyone else. For instance, it's caramel, not caramel. And who says pajamas? Well, no, it's pajamas. And soda? Mm-mm, it's pop. There was another difference I noticed, and it was that I'd grown up in a family of die-hard Detroit Lions fans. But everyone around here like the Giants, the Jets, or the Eagles. And you'll even find a couple Patriots fans around here, too. Disappointing. <laughs> there was a final difference I noticed, but it had nothing to do with the change in location. I absolutely loved to read, and I still do, but nobody else seemed to. I mean, I didn't blame them. What normal fifth grader actually likes to read? But I have a sister who's in fifth grade now, and she absolutely hates reading. But despite these differences, I was able to make friends and eventually get used to this new place. But change isn't always that easy. In fact, change can be really scary. The feeling of not being in control and knowing that anything can happen is terrifying, and it can cause a fear of change. But it's important to let go of control and embrace change because change can have so many positive effects. Change can teach you lots of new things about yourself and help you to grow as a person. Change will also make you adaptable and resilient. When I moved, I learned that I love to try new foods. I learned recently that oysters on the half shell, aka raw oysters, are one of my favorite foods. And I learned I love to travel and see new places and experience new cultures, which I got to do last summer when I went on a missions trip to the Dominican Republic. I got to give food and clothes to people in poor villages, and we went to a different village every day. We had to be able to adapt to what each new village held, and it ended up being amazing. And a few months ago, back in February, I got to volunteer at a prom for people with special needs called Night to Shine. None of the volunteers knew who their buddy, or date, was going to be, and had to adapt to whatever they wanted to do the whole night. It ended up being amazing, and I was only able to enjoy these experiences because I'd learned to adapt when I'd moved. When you jump in the deep end, you have no choice but to swim. And when you experience change, you have no choice but to grow and adapt. There's a Winston Churchill quote that says, if you don't take change by the hand, it'll take you by the throat. You have to embrace change and let go of control, otherwise you'll never be able to see any of its positive effects. And don't all these positive effects make you just want to let go of control and let change come? Well, change is always coming, so take it by the hand this time. Don't let it take you by the throat. Thank you. <laughs>